Welcome back. Today I'll be trying out two brand new fragrances I've been chomping at the bit to try since I heard they were being released. I'll be unboxing and sharing my first impressions on Cool Water Parfum and Azaro, the most wanted. Stay tuned for more slickness. I've really been looking forward to trying these two fragrances because I've got history with other iterations of these flankers, because these two are both flankers. The original Cool Water Eau de Toilette was my first signature scent and Azaro Wanted by Night. I'm not as familiar with the original, I've tried it and I remember enjoying it but I wasn't blown away. However, Wanted by Night is one of my favourite designer fragrances. So, I'm going to unbox these and just let you know what I think and then we'll have a little break or it won't be a break for you but I'll go away for a couple of hours and just explore the dry down and come report back uh, how these fragrances dry down. So, let's start off with Cool Water. So, Back when I was 17, 18, this was my signature scent. I smell this fragrance and wow, <laughs> it takes me back to exactly where I was, the places I was going to when I was that age, the clubs I was going to when I first started going to pubs. I can remember the beer that I was drinking in those pubs, which was Caffrey's, if anyone's interested. I can remember the people I was hanging around with, the clothes that I was wearing. It certainly is a very, very powerful scent. Holidays, everything, it just brings back all those memories. Now, I do have to say, this is not my favourite style of fragrance at the time. I didn't know any different since wearing this a lot and since this was my signature scent I've smelled a lot more fragrances. I've smelled some wild, weird, wonderful compositions. So I do still enjoy this because of the associations, because of the memories that it creates. So I, I think if this was a new fragrance, if this DNA was released brand new today, I probably wouldn't be as into this as I am. But because of all those memories, uh, I really enjoy this. So let's have a little spray of this brand new release for 2021. Now, with this being a parfum, I'm sort of thinking this is maybe going to be probably closer to the skin than this. I know it's not a parfum concentration, it's probably an, an EDP, but I think it's going to be a bit smoother. I think it's going to be probably closer to the skin. We'll see. Maybe, you know, a little more sensual, that sort of that sort of thing. So here's the bottle. The juice is blue. I think in the original, I think probably the juice is clear and the bottle's blue. So they've sort of inverted that, I guess, a little bit. But, you know, it looks like a cool water bottle. Let's just get this on skin and have a little spray. Go on the hand, up the arm. Okay. So I find this to be very crisp, very sharp, cuts through the air. Hmm. Okay, it's sweeter, it's smoother. Doesn't have the sharpness of the original. Maybe a little bit of this sweet bubblegummy vibe, but not in a not in a way that makes it smell too young or too youthful. Although I think if you if you are young wearing these, if you're 17, 18, um, that I think you know you'd, you'd like this. It's a sweet, rounded designer fragrance. It doesn't smell too chemically. It doesn't smell awful at all. I'm liking that. Yeah, I think that is, I would put this in the category of a solid designer fragrance, just off these first sniffs. I'll see how it performs, how it dries down. I think it's going to project all right. I think it seems to be the sort of fragrance that is going to project and it's going to leave a good sillage. I've just got the notes here for you, which I'll quickly read them out. So some citrus up top, there's some lemon and pink pepper, Haitian vetiver and sandalwood. There's going to be loads more, I guess, in here than that, but that is all that seems to be officially listed. So it's smooth, it's rounded. I think it's, um, I think it's, yeah, sweeter and probably more crowd pleasing than the original. It's still got a freshness. I'm just trying to find the connection with the original Eau de Toilette in here, but not really, not really getting it. More in common with things like Invictus, those sort of sweeter, youthful fragrances. It doesn't smell unique. I feel like I've smelled this sort of DNA before. I wouldn't say it smells exactly the same as any others. I like it. I think it's nice. I think I could easily wear this. I think this is going to be a nice compliment pulling fragrance. I think it smells more modern than the original Cool Water. But I don't think it smells too similar to it. I don't think it's 
it could have been a different fragrance, perhaps. Maybe the dry down, a bit more of that original will, will start to come out. But so far, I think it's quite different. It's rounded, it's smoother, it's sweet, it's mass appealing, it's youthful. And I like it. Yeah, I could really enjoy wearing this and I am going to wear this a lot more because I'll probably come back and do a bit more of an in-depth review in another video. So, okay, so far, thumbs up for Cool Water Parfum. Now let's get into Azaro, the most wanted. So I love Wanted by Night. This is a, a, a fruity cinnamon fragrance. It says it's, it's got some tobacco and some leather in the notes as well, but they don't really come out very much for me, if, if at all. Uh, so it's more about the fruity cinnamon um, vibe with this one. And I think this is a great, fun, party type of fragrance, great clubbing fragrance. Definitely think it does fit the Wanted by Night. You could easily wear this through the daytime, but if you were going out and you were younger, and or maybe not even young, I think you could still enjoy wearing this. Uh, it's a compliment puller. It's a very mass appealing fragrance and it's done really well. I like it. Like I said, it's one of my favorite designer fragrances. And I think I love it so much because it doesn't smell too generic. A lot of mass appealing designer fragrances, they're, they're made to be mass appealing so they are going to be generic but every now and then you'll get ones that sort of just move away from being too generic and start doing a bit more of their own thing be a little bit more creative not too much obviously because they've still got to be mass appealing but for me wanted by night does that which is why i enjoy it so much so um the most wanted is uh eau de parfum intense it says so i guess this is going to be darker and richer and i think that is pretty um, evident from the the bottle that they're going for with this so this is an, an all black bottle and that looks stealth so you've got the black glass underneath and then this matte black on top and that actually might be my favorite azara wanted bottle so far i love wanted by night i think that also looks great i mean mm, I, I like them both and i got both the same size so they look nice together as well all right let's give this one a spray and see if we get that sort of fruity, fun cinnamon vibe that I get from the, from, not the original, from Wanted by Night. I get the fruitiness. I think there's maybe some cinnamon here, although it's definitely not to the same degree as Wanted by Night. It's this sweet, rounded, quite rich, fruity fragrance. It's not that dark. When I say rich, I don't mean dark. I don't think it's really dark. I think it's still got a brightness to it but there's some spiciness as well I'd wager that there's maybe some cardamom in here like that cool spicy cardamom that you can get and obviously cardamom always adds a great mass appealing quality to a fragrance I don't think it's massively unique I feel like it's a very familiar sort of fruity rich spicy smelling fragrance yeah nice right so far so good I'm glad I bought these because I'm really enjoying them off the opening. I'm going to see how these dry down and I'm going to report back to you and just uh, give you some short conclusions about both these fragrances. So I will be back in a couple of hours. Okay, I've just spent a couple of hours with these fragrances and I have some interesting findings to report. When these started to dry down, things happened. So let me tell you about those things. Let's start with Cool Water Parfum. On the initial spray of this, it smelt quite fruity and quite round. Not much connection to the original Cool Water. But after about 15, 20 minutes, it dried down and it started to really remind me of Dior Sauvage or other fragrances of that ilk in that genre. So maybe Prada Luna Rossa Carbon, uh, Sauvage, you know, Parfum, Eau de Parfum. So it's that style of fragrance. It has more in common with those than it does with the original Cool Water, in my opinion. I think it's maybe not quite as soapy as Sauvage EDT. I think it is a little smoother, a little more rounded. But I think because of that, it doesn't project as much. It's not the, the beast that, um, that Sauvage, or certainly the version of Sauvage is that I have. So it is softer, it's closer to the skin. So I think maybe it's more in line with Prada Luna Rossa Carbon, maybe Sauvage Parfum. But in terms of performance, compared to the EDT, it is not as big in performance. So, but I think it's, I think it's gonna be okay. It does seem to be quite a close to the skin sort of scent now after a couple of hours in. So I'll give this some full wearings. I'm really 
properly judge that performance and report back to you on that. But uh, yeah, it is certainly that style of fragrance, that clean, slightly soapy, uh, powdery, very mass appealing style of fragrance. I think it's really nice. I've really been enjoying it. I'm looking forward to giving it some full wearings and really formulating my opinion on that. Because I don't have Prada Lunarossa Carbon or Sauvage Parfum, maybe this will do the job that those fragrances would do. Uh, so quite glad that I bought this and I have this in my collection. Okay, so that is Sauvage. No, it's not. That is Cool Water Parfum. Let's move on to Azaro, The Most Wanted. Is it The Most Wanted? For me, it's not. For me, Azaro Wanted by Night, I prefer. I want that more than The Most Wanted. I think the reason for that is I find it a little bit less distinctive. It's not as big on projection. It's not as much of a compliment getting, statement making, fun, lively fragrance. However, it is very nice. I have really been enjoying it, but it also started to remind me of another fragrance or another line of fragrances. So I think it's because this has got toffee in it. And by the way, I didn't read the notes out before. So let me quickly do that. It's got three, obviously more than that, but three are, are listed it seems. So we've got cardamom, toffee and amberwood. So of course, a popular line of fragrances and this is what this seems to remind me of it's not exactly the same uh, but it's the stronger with you line from uh, from Armani uh, so I don't have the original stronger with you so I can't compare it directly with that and it doesn't smell the same as the other two that I do have which are intensely and absolutely okay so yeah it's got that sweet toffee smell it's got the cardamom spice so it's a very mass appealing really nice scent doesn't project in the same way for me anyway that wanted by night does and like i said it's not quite as distinctive so i prefer wanted by night but i do really enjoy that i think it's a pretty solid designer release i think a lot of people will really enjoy wearing this i think you know it's probably going to be one of those autumn winter style fragrances i think you could wear it all year round but i think it would excel and i think a lot of people would like to wear it in those cooler months or in cooler temperatures and uh, i think it would be a nice date night scent a nice evening scent again i will have to report back on the performance of this because i don't think it's quite as good as wanted by night but i'll give it some full wearings and then i will fully make up my mind on that okay so those are my findings on these two new releases. I've enjoyed checking them out. I'm going to enjoy checking them out further and really putting them through the paces and learning more about them. But for now, this is sort of in that Sauvage realm and this is sort of in that Stronger With You sort of realm. Just to give you an idea about how these two fragrances smell. I'm not saying they smell exactly the same as those, but just to give you an idea of what to expect from these if you were thinking of picking them up. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, keep tuning into FM, keep smelling good, and I'll see you in the next one.